everybody, this is Dave, and this is Ross, and we're with Spacey's, and we're here to tell you about something we're about to do. We're going to the Canadian Rockies in Alberta, partnering with uh, Canadian Mountain Holidays, aka CMH, and we're going to record our new song, Up on Top of Cliff. It's day number one, so today we're going to be working on writing the song we're going to be recording in Canada, so we're going to spend some time listening to the river, enjoying this peace and quiet, away from the chaos of life, and try and find a little, little bit of balance before we're... Uh, Trapped in a car for 10 hours tomorrow and 10 hours the next day. We ain't part of some institution. We're built on broken faith. Follow the noise to the city with the open gate. It's a brand new revolution. All right, we're in Wyoming, three hours in. Got Roth at the airport. Currently uh, rigging up the Jeep here with some uh, some cameras. Make sure we capture all the angles. So the song's inspired by the movie The Fault in Our Stars. And uh, I really fell in love with that movie. Russ really loved it. Uh, I haven't read the entire book. I read portions of the book. And uh, I don't know, it's just really inspired by the story. There's some amazing quotes in it. It was a very, very moving movie. And uh, it just inspired a song out of nowhere. It really came together quite organically. And when you have a song like that, especially when it's based around a story and it's telling a story, um, you can have a really special song. So I think we got this very massive, anthematic love song with kind of a different overtone being that it's kind of encapsulating all the emotion from the film. And uh, with a title like Infinity and a concept talking about uh, infinity, it kind of makes sense to be uh, singing it on top of a mountain. I'm gonna stay right by you I'll come and carry you across the sea I'm gonna love you for forever and infinity I'm gonna stay right by you I'll be the air when you can barely breathe I'm gonna love you for forever Ross, how are you feeling this morning? Feeling great, man. I'm really, really excited for the trip. Nice. It's gonna be special. I haven't really had an original thought yet this morning because it's so early and I can't speak clearly. But look at that. I'm just gonna revel in that for a while. Come back to me. First things first, you gotta have coffee because it's not even seven o'clock yet. I'm excited about the bus is blue because that's my favorite color. Me too.
So we, we showed up and, uh, you know, when you see the helicopter, it all kind of sets in like, oh, we have, to, we have to get on that. Call it what you want, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Tell me what you need, I'll find a way, I'll find a way. I've personally never been on a helicopter before, so, I mean, I've been on small airplanes, but Luckily, I think our pilot like flew in Vietnam or something, and and uh, he's an American war hero. I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> it seemed no way to me. Anyway, so we we flew in, and uh, it was just absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I've never seen mountains that look like this. I've never I've never seen this kind of landscape so up close, at least not from from this viewpoint before. And it was completely and utterly breathtaking. So we arrived at CMH, staff's amazing, guides are amazing, uh, cabin's beautiful. So we got here, we, we check in, and uh, we have to get ready really, really, really fast. We have to get up in the mountains, we have to jump on a helicopter, bring all of our gear, figure out everything that we're taking with us. We have 45 minutes to put it all together, and we're finding out, oh, we might have to shoot the music video today. Oh, and by the way, we might have to record the song today. About to find our boots, we just got in, we just had our hotel check-in. Marco, one of the famous guides. For many moons, many years. We jump in the helicopter and uh, we have our own awesome guide, Brody, who's the man, and he handles everything, makes sure we're taken care of, takes us to this primo spot. And we get up there and we're like, oh my god, this is gonna we're gonna get like the best, the best shot ever. And then uh, as soon as we get up there, we start scouting, figuring out where this, what we're gonna do, what the best spot is, and then these these clouds start rolling in. And uh, and he's like, that's totally gonna hit us. I and mean, then luckily the first one, something happened with the wind and it missed us. And then he's like, 97% sure that one's definitely gonna hit us. And all of a sudden you just see this snow start pouring in. And luckily our guide had like this giant tarp blanket and everybody's huddled under it keeping warm. Fast forward 10 minutes later, and then our guy Brody stands up and this canister falls out of his backpack and you just hear plop, and he goes, run! Can I bring your own food? Whoa, shit, get out of here. Oh, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Maybe that's a little too overdramatic, but he said the word run and it was alarming. So everyone just like take off running and then Ross starts, starts dry heaving and coughing. <laughs> Like, what's going on? And Brody's like, it's bear spray. He's like, what? It's bear spray. Apparently there's like a bear version of off. It's the equivalent of like insect repellent, but for bears. And if you get it in your mouth and you're a human or anywhere in your body, it ruins your entire life. Looking back of where our company was six months ago, where we're going to be six months from now, even looking back to you know where we are when we first started, just conceptualizing the idea, we didn't have any of this in our belt. And now we're here in British Columbia working with fantastic companies like CMH, making these thoughts and these ideas come to life. If I'm just a We went into today having the expectation that weather was going to be really bad. That was the word on the street yesterday. And so I was a little worried about that. And uh, just knowing that we only have three days to film, it was going to be kind of close. We finally get to our destination and the clouds, it was really overcast. There was not, no, there was no sun coming through. It was raining and it definitely is worrisome when you have, you know, a, an expensive laptop and all this new gear and microphones and cables and all this different, all these 
electronics, the cameras and everything, like, okay, is this really gonna work or not? And as soon as the clouds started to break and the sun came out, and then we had a whole bunch of other people show up. We were looking for our next location. Brody said, guys, I have a place in mind. Let's go to this lake. We get up there, it's a fantastic turquoise lake. And it just looked like it was pure glacier and, and wa water runoff from all the snow melt. And it was just perfect. So Roth was in the helicopter and he was with the pilot. And, and we had like a five to 10 minute turnaround time to set up in location, get there, hook everything up. And I also forgot the bloody cable to the M Audio code controller. So it was down at the hotel and I'm like, oh my gosh, like here's our money shot. We're gonna have a helicopter doing 360s and I don't have the cable to power on our MIDI controller to play parts. So Roth had to go all the way back to the lodge, which was 15, 20 kilometers away. He ran into the lodge, got the cable, hopped back on the helicopter. They flew back up and then Brody, our guy, tied the cable around a stone, threw me the stone across a river, and then I got it, plugged everything in, lights were on, we're cooking in Crisco. Within a minute, Dave and I prepped, got ready, I hit record in the helicopter. We're up here getting ready to shoot Ross's portion of the video. You ready to do this shot, buddy? I'm ready. This is... It looks words, incredible. Words can't explain. No, they can't. Yeah. You know, you guys, you have the passion, you stick with the passion, and you're not going to change. No matter what's going to happen, if you hit it big, you know, if you hit it big, still, the, the founding spirit of what you four guys had, if you're loyal to that, you're gonna go to places. There is no way around. Suffering from technical difficulties. Let's see what, uh, how quickly we can do this. So we're about to climb that, and uh, I'm all harnessed up. I'm trying to figure out all the details, coordinate everything. We got to get a helicopter up there. If this doesn't uh, get your blood pumping, I don't know what will. Yeah, I'm gonna get the final shot today. I could see why the kids don't do this. I'm at a loss of words right now. Um, this was a, a remarkable trip. It was an honor and pleasure sharing the mountain that was a beautiful stage uh, for creating our music with these great people. It reminds me of why I am chasing these dreams with my fellow peers and Brian, my business partner and best friend and Dave and Roth and all the other creative people around us. It's uh, when you're able to create music in a beautiful part of the world, there's nothing like it for me. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. You know, we have today. You gotta live your best life now, as cheesy as that sounds. It's a pretty campy thing to say, but if there's something you wanna do, if there's something you wanna experience, you know, do it, do it today, because you may not have tomorrow, you know? Show me a 